Om Namashya, my dear students. Let's start our class for today. Today, our first topic is that is checking for existence of a key. So here we will check that particular key is there in our dictionary or not. So for this one, we are using the membership operator at here that is in and not in. So look at here. Usually membership operator the in and not in work with dictionary as well but they can check for the existence of key only to check for whether a value is present in a dictionary you need to write proper code for that so here we can see that code the code is written that is this key that particular key we want to search in dictionary and here we also use not in so here if you use in that in operator will return true if that particular key is present in the dictionary otherwise it will be return false and the not in operator will return true if that key is not present in the dictionary otherwise false so now look at this example here we define one key uh, one dictionary at, at here and dictionary name is empl that's defined for employee and we define the value at here the key is salary age and name and the corresponding value is 10,024 and John now we are checking at here that is age in EMPL so now we are checking that particular age is there in the dictionary or not so here we can see the output that is true now we check that John is there in the employee John is value and in and not in this to then these two membership operators are uh, work on only the key so when we write the value at here this a john in employee is written false and when we write it is john not in employee it's written true see they calculate this value this particular john value as a key but john is not as a key it's a value in that particular dictionary age not in employee it show false because age is present at here okay so here is written that is please remember that the operator in and not in do not apply on values of a dictionary if you use them with the dictionary name directly that is if you search for something with in or not in operator with the dictionary it will only look for the keys in the dictionary and not value so if you the thing is that you cannot use in and not in membership operator for checking any kinds of value if you use that value as that i mentioned earlier that's john here value but if you use john in the in and not in dictionary python will calculate this john as a key only and that's why it show the result as a false okay now the next part is there uh, another thing is that if you want to search any kinds of uh, dictionary values or if you want to uh, see that the particular value is there in the, in, is there or not in your dictionary then you have to write in this format you have to define your value in next you have to write your dictionary name dot values if you write in this way then only you can show the value properly here in that dict one dictionary xyz is value and name is the key at here so when you write that is name in dictionary it's show true because name is key at here and when you write xyz in dict it show you the false because they consider xyz as a key but xyz is not as a key at here it's a value so for this one you have to write in this way where you have to mention that value space in next you have to define your dictionary name and your values dot value functions so if you write in write in this way then you will see that output is true now they consider this xyz as value next part is that is pretty printing of a dictionary now we will print the dictionary in some different way here we can see we define one dictionary at here the winner dictionary name is winner at here and when we write print winner we can see the value is coming in this way the order are not always same the order can be changed but we can see all the values are coming in the same line so it will be possible when your dictionary is a small dictionary it's content four or five or ten pairs like this but if your dictionary content more than contain lots of pairs then it will be very difficult to see like this way then it's a better way to see dictionary in some other way so for this one 
here you can see the way as the output coming so for this one you need to use json module so here you have to import json module in your program so you can see this one that is well there content certainly it's a way for this you need to import json module by giving the statement import json so whenever you will first you have to write import json so whenever you will write import json that particular json module it will be attached to your programs and now you have to use this dumps this particular function and the details of this function is written in the json module so you have to use this dumps function to show or to print dictionary in some other way and this function definition is written in that json module so for this one you have to import json module okay and your syntax it will be look like this you have to write the module name that is json dot dumps that is a function name see the parenthesis is there round parenthesis definator here you have to define your dictionary name comma indent equals to n n is that number <coughs> so if you uh, write it here it is print json dot dumps winner winner that we define it here it is a winner dictionary with this value and we define indent 2 okay so here winner is the function uh, dictionary name and here we define that is indent equals to 2 so here in the output we can see that is that all the values are showing in this way here all key value pairs are come separately or it shows separately and here we define indent 2 indent 2 means it will be give two space in front of every line so here we can see there are two spaces there of every line if we define indent equals to 5 then this key value pairs it will be start from here after giving 5 space okay next part is that is counting frequency of element in a list using dictionary so here we will count that how many frequency how many value is there in a frequency way so for this one since dictionary use uh, use key value pair to store in a, its element you can use it uh, this features effectively if you trying to calculate frequency of the element in sequence such as a list so for this one you have to if that's you know that you have to first you have to create your input dictionary you have to take up an element from the list of list and you have to check that particular elements exist as a key in your dictionary or not if uh, if it's not then you have to add this one to, to your dictionary okay so these are the basic step and the, there is another program is there in the next page that i will show you after some time here another important thing is that it is here you have to know about the split function the split function is basically used to uh, separate your uh, value of your dictionary or any kinds of string so when this split function you can also use use in your dictionary to separate all the different uh, value of your dictionary it's basically work on the string so just a following program illustrator is but before we move on the program code it will be good if you talk about the interesting and useful function split that you can use with text to split it in words the split works on string type of data and break up a string into words and create a list out of it so basically here we define a text this text is a string type of value just look at there this this is simple string so this is a string type of value now we will sp split this string into different value different list type of value so here we write that is text dot split here text is the string variable name at here now we are using the split function at here and all the value will be stored in this particular variable that is words so after that when you print these words we can see this all the uh, this all this word of this particular string are separated and it will look like this way now here we are not mentioned anything within this parenthesis that's my it will be split this particular text when they will get the space so according to the space it will be split this string value or this line if you want you can mention 
so just look at this example here we define one text stat here <coughs> this one two three all the values are written within the quotation now you write at this text dot split yeah, and within the parentheses you define this comma so that's mean whenever they will get the comma they will split that particular word so here one is there so they separate this one two again is there so it's separate two and the last one that is three at here so in this way you can split uh, you can break your line using this split function okay <coughs> now just look at this program there is another program program to count the frequency of a list element using a dictionary so here one dictionary is there and within the dictionary uh, here within the dictionary you have you have to show that particular any particular words how many times that word is there so for this one first we import this json because we need to print our result in a proper way and the result are uh, show all the key value types of pair in a dictionary format and we define one sentence this sentence is basically a string type of variable and we define the string at here that is this is a super idea this idea will change the idea of learning okay next we use the split at here split function at here and we are not defining anything at here that means whenever they will get in space it will be split and that value will be stored in the words this variable now we define one empty dictionary at here now we write for one in words so here one is the for loop variable now we define key equals to one that's mean the whatever the value it will be start from zero obviously so now the key value is zero so if zero not in d so it will be checked that particular this word is there or not if it is not then it will be make a count and that value will be stored and that particular dictionary positions that key positions that's mean for the first time it will be the zero next time it will be one two in this way it will be continue until the last one after that we print after that we print that uh, frequency of the list in the word and next we uh, show the total words with the number of frequency and we define indian equals to one that's when we will give one space from the beginning of each line now you can see the output first we print that words words mean it will be print the this whole st string value at here with the separate and here is split where they will get the space so this is a all these words will use make us separate it at here just look at here and after that we show value in the dictionary where the it will be look like key value pairs and it will be show that particular words how many time it is there so here we can see the output it is this that are coming two time is there that is coming one times a that is also coming one time super is also coming one times idea it's coming three times you can check also at it one idea two idea and three idea is there so in this way it will be show that particular result this program you have to write in your computer lab copy so that's why i mention it here that is lab I have all friends now to discuss Om Namah Shivaya students.